I'm gonna teach you how to make the perfect guacamole. It's really fast and really easy, just like you like them. And it'll be a hit at your next party or function, or maybe you're having a lonely night like I am and just want to have some guacamole. Let's do it. First, get a bowl. Second, get rid of a cat. Next, get an avocado. Hopefully it's ripe and good. I've had these avocados for a little bit and I feel like they're going bad and that's why I want to make guacamole so that I can enjoy them before they go bad. But look, it's pretty good right now. So take a spoon and scoop out the innards. Yeah, avocado innards, gross. All right, I leave the seed in the, uh, in the guacamole because it preserves the freshness of the guacamole or so I'm told. I'm told that it helps prevent it from going brown. Which doesn't matter that much because we're going to be adding salsa and when red and green mix, it turns brown. Mash up the avocado with the spoon. I try to get a spoon that has kind of like a sharper edge. You know what? I'm going to add a second avocado just because I'm going crazy, but I hope that the other one's good. Eh, it's okay. We'll do it. Alright. Okay. This part's the part that feels like cheating, but it's not. But it feels like it. It just... It'll save you a lot of time, which is why I do it this way. Get your favorite salsa. My favorite salsa is out because I made guacamole for Super Bowl. This is a salsa that is in our fridge, so I'm going to use this. But I suggest you use your favorite for maximum pleasure. I put two spoonfuls of the salsa in there. If you used more avocados, you can probably put more. Stir it until... There's not just plain avocado in there anymore. Like if you see some patches that are all green, you need to mix some more salsa in there. See how it turns a little bit brown? That's okay, it's just green mixed with red makes brown. Then you're gonna add salt. Make a like a layer of salt. Stir it in, stir it in, stir it in. This is when the specialness happens. This is my secret ingredient, lemon pepper. A lot of people add lime to their guacamole. I personally don't, I add lemon pepper and it has a citrusy flavor without using a citrus, and I actually like it better because I feel like it's a more concentrated citrus flavor. Anyway, you make a thin layer with the lemon pepper on the top just like you did with the salt, and then you're done! That's it, you're done. You can add paprika. I do add that when I have it. I don't know where my paprika went. I just looked in the cupboard for like five minutes. It's not there. If it takes more, longer than five minutes for me to find an ingredient, I don't use it. So feel free to add paprika. You would just add it the same way I did the lemon pepper, like a small layer on the top and then stir it in. This is the best guacamole you will ever make. It will be a hit at your party if you make it. Just be warned.